In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dino Tech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Ross Lilly and the Dodge Viper led the field away for the 2012 Q one hour sports car race for the Victorian Tourist Trophy, the main event of the traditional end of season Island Magic meeting. Lilly stormed to a comfortable lead, but a safety car period brought on after Ivan Klassen's Porsche went off at the exit of Lukey Heights saw the field close up. Lilly made a great restart though and put another comfortable gap in the field. Dodge pitted on lap 15, which put the indecently fast Lotus Elise of Peter Lucas and Garth Walden into the lead. But lurking back in the pack, ready to pounce, was Alan Simonson. The Danish star was easily the fastest man on the circuit as he cut through the field with surgical precision, eventually taking the lead on lap 24. Lilly moved into second place, but it was bad news for the Lucas Waldron Lotus, which rolled to a halt at MG with only three laps of the race remaining. Simonson took the chequered flag to give the Dane and car owner and co-driver Ted Huglin their second straight Victorian Tourist Trophy. Lilly held on for second, ahead of the fast finishing Aston Martin of Martin Wag and Ben Eggleston, who survived two minor off-track excursions to finish third. Steve Tomasi continued his recent run of good form to take the win in the Ramada Phillip Island 50k plate. After taking his debut victory at the final round of the State Series last month, Tomasi showed it was no fluke as he led from start to finish in the feature race, widely regarded as the most prestigious in the Victorian sports sedan calendar. Defending state champion Michael Robinson won Saturday's first race, but from then on he had to be content with two second places. Third overall was the Trans Am Camaro of Ronald Miller. Graham Gilliland eventually came out on top in this battle with Bob Gill's Falcon to be the leading rotary powered car ahead of Stephen Craig's Gemini. In other races on the card, Simon Hodge won the Phillip Island Formula Ford Trophy race while Cade Southall returned from a six year layoff to take the 1600 class. Tasmanian driver Ray Hislop set a new lap record to win the Matthew Flinders Cup for improved production cars. Darren Collins in the Camaro won the Graham Slater Memorial Trophy for historic touring cars. John Spud Wood won the Cows Cup for the HQ Holdens. And Richard Muscat had a comfortable victory in the Endeavour Cup for the Porsche 944s. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe, it never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance, optimise fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions, protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dyno.com.au Dynotech by Dynodynamics.